Recently, I made a roller coaster template and here is how to use it. You can download the file from a link in description. Create new level and drag track spline onto it. Alt plus drag to add new anchor point. After complete making track, drag player pawn in and make it as default player. Assign the track to spline actor. And we already achieved basic roller coaster functionality. Sorry for poor sound. I don't have good distributable one. So, you should replace it. Next step is how to use triggers to control the speed. Adding climbing here to play climbing sound. Then it ends at here. Adding velocity before the roll. I make climbing trigger very versatile. With sound option disabled, it can be used to maintain constant speed. If we check this option on, we can see the triggers while playing. By the way, there's a very useful tip in Unreal. While navigating with right mouse button pressed, mouse wheel can be used to increase or decrease speed. Now we have done. But for the performance, there's one more thing we can do. Export the track and merges one or multiple meshes. Why I separate it is a matter of light map density. If you are a Blender user, I'm using Control Plus P to pack islands. This video is using version 4.13.0, there's no spline object is exported. If we can export this spline in future release, we can build more efficient and beautiful mesh by following that spline. For now, our mesh is not so smooth. Important designing material. This option may current track mesh invisible. Move new mesh to zero, zero, zero and change light map resolution larger.
floor shadow has some issues. Changing floors resolution too. Bake it and that's it. Thanks for watching.